Okay guys, here we are back with our first daily drawing in our kids arts and crafts video series. Well, we're all asked to stay sheltered at home right now. Uh, I'm sure you're all doing what you need to, your due diligence and doing your schoolwork and minding mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever is home with you that you're practicing your letters and your numbers and your reading. If you're older, that you're doing your math and your algebra. I'm sure you are. But in the meantime, rather than just sit in front of the TV, which I guess is this is the one circumstances may, circumstance that maybe you can do that. Uh, maybe you would like to do something creative, some arts and crafts, which is why I started this series to begin with. So we're gonna start doing some daily drawings. In the video just before this, we showed how to make this little um, little daily drawing, little sketchbook. If you don't have a little notebook to sketch in and you wanna just make one with some stuff that you have around the house that you have mom and dad's permission to use, um, I showed you how to make this. You will notice that I glued some of our um, embellishments we made in one of our first videos. We made a whole bunch of these and um, then we made a card with them. And then in another video, we did a journal page. Um, I took some of my extra ones and I put them here on my cover, which I really like the way that looks. I usually always do something to my covers. Here's one of my other ones from downstairs. I put stickers or something on them. I do have usually a piece of hard plastic that I put between my pages when I'm drawing, because I do kind of sometimes tend to press really hard and I don't wanna make marks on the other paper. You don't have to have this, but if you have a hard piece of plastic or maybe um, like you could totally use this, this is a piece of a tissue box. Um, so if you've had a cold or a flu, you've probably got a lot of these around. You can just grab a piece of that tissue box or cereal box or something before it goes in the trash. You just need a little piece that's about the same size as your piece of paper. Um, you probably want straight edges on it. So you might wanna have, if you're younger, you might wanna have somebody help you cut the edges like that. Just fits a little bit better. And then put it underneath the piece of paper that you're gonna draw on. And it just, it gives you a harder surface to draw on. You're also gonna want a couple pieces of scrap paper of the same kind of paper uh, as your notebook if you made your notebook. This is kind of, it's not super important, but um, it for me it is. Um, my notebook's not quite dry because I'm filming this the same day I made it, so we're gonna just do that. Um, so for me, what these are important, especially if I've made a notebook out of a new kind of paper other than I'm used to, is I wanna know before I do my drawing what pencils, pens, and markers are gonna show through the other side because I usually like to do a drawing on the front and then I like to turn the page and do another one on the back, but I don't necessarily want the marks from this side to show through that side. So for instance, if you just take a colored pencil and make some marks, they don't really show through, right? But if I took, let's try the ballpoint pen. This is just a big pen, but any ballpoint pen. Yeah, they're pretty good too. But if I take one of my Crayola markers, What's that gonna do? That kind of shows, it's not too bad. Now, if you're old enough to use a Sharpie, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's just gonna be, see the Sharpie's bad. So you wanna know what's gonna show through and what isn't. You may not mind the marks when they show through, but it might bug you. Um, so I recommend a little tester piece of paper or two in your stash. Okay, so our first word on our list, word number one, is breakfast. Now, I'm a grown-up, so I usually just have coffee and maybe a banana for breakfast or a cup of yogurt or something. So the first thing I do is I write the word at the bottom. I don't know why I do that, because the words are here, but I just always have written the words at the bottom, probably because I do um, two three or four different little sketchbooks every day. And I usually write all the words and then I have them all stacked up and then I just work at them one at a time. I don't know. 
All right, so we're gonna draw a little um, picture of my breakfast now. Whatever you had for breakfast, you wanna draw something like that. But I had like I had a bowl of yogurt. So I'm gonna draw a little bowl. I'm gonna draw like an ovaly shape here. You could totally do this in pencil if you if you want to. And then I'm gonna draw some lines for the sides and they're cur they're tilted in just a little bit. And the bottom here is curved just a little bit. It's not straight. I'm gonna draw that handle of a spoon sticking out. Like that. And in the back, we'll do a cup of coffee. So it's a similar shape. You start with this like funny oval. I'm gonna have one side of the cup go straight down. So you look at the look at what you had for breakfast. Pull out the bowl and take a look at it. Look at the cup that you had your juice um, I, oh, I sometimes will take a picture of it while I'm eating if I'm not going to do the drawing right away and then I will go back and I will look at the picture on my phone. So if you're old enough to have a cell phone, um, one thing you can do is while you're sitting there at breakfast, take a picture of your breakfast, then eat your breakfast. Then when you're ready to do your drawing, look at what you see in the picture and draw what you see. Don't try, try to draw all the details. It doesn't, it's not about drawing the details. Okay. And then I'm going to put a handle on my cup. I'm going to add some shadows by putting some lines in. Now, if you're not sure what to draw for some of the prompts, take your word, whatever the word is, go to Google or go to Pinterest if you're old enough to get on a computer. Type the word in and then type simple drawing. Now, if you're not sure how to spell that, <laughs> so you're gonna type the word in and today's is breakfast, right? So take the word off of the list. Hopefully they're spelled correctly. My spelling's not the best, but I think they are, right? And then type simple and then drawing. Type that into Google Images or Pinterest and see what pops up. And then take inspiration from what pops up for an idea of what to draw. Okay, I'm gonna draw some steam coming off my coffee. So I like the shapes of that. So now I'm gonna darken some of them by just pushing a little harder with my pen. Around some of the lines. That's pretty good. Now I wanna add a little bit of color. Color for me really makes the drawings pop. So what do I wanna use for color? It looks like I can use my Crayola markers because as long as I don't get them wet, they don't show through too much. Now, when you're using color in your drawings, let's do this first. So let's take out the black one and the silver one and the brown one. <laughs> All right, so we've got gold, which is kind of a yellow. We've got a blue kind of a bluey purple, a reddy purple, and a green, right? So, and you also can show this maybe a little better with the crayons. So the colors that are warmer, that make you think of sunlight and summer, uh, the beach would be the yellow, the red, the lighter green, the gold, right? Maybe sometimes the light blue. The colors that make you think of shadow and cold would be, that's a red one, would be your 
darker blue purples and your dark purples and your darker greens. So they're shadow colors. These are highlight colors, suggesting lightness and brightness and warmth. So when you're coloring your items, I want you to think of using your cooler shadow colors in the darker places, the shadow places on your drawing, and the lighter, brighter highlight colors in the other parts. So I'm gonna actually grab the yellow crayon. And the paper is yellow, so I don't need to do too much of this. I also almost never color in the entire drawing when I'm doing these. I just add a little bit of um, color to um, emphasize uh, and um, highlight my drawing to accent my drawing. So I'm using two different colors of purple. This one's warmer than the other one. And I would leave it at that, that's cute. So that's my breakfast drawing. I would encourage you to give this a try and see what you think. Our next uh, drawing will be face. We've done faces, yeah. So try doing these every day. I would love to see what you do. If your parents give you permission to share with me, that would be great, you don't have to. I will be trying to do one or two of these daily drawings every day for right now going forward. So um, it'll keep us all occupied, hopefully. <laughs> and out of trouble, right? Out of mom and dad's hair. All right, that's it for right now. Go out and have a, a good day. Do your schoolwork, mind your parents, <laughs> and do something creative. It'll help you pass the time and it'll keep you occupied, I hope. Um, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself and maybe mom and dad, you know, you deserve it and so do they. That's it for right now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.